In this video, I'd like to show you how we use the image primitives to create scenes. Here we have the example 02-7 functional scenes dot bracket. Here I've created some scenes here in scene 0, an empty scene. Then I create scene 1 by placing a circle at position 2100 in scene 0. Then I produce scene 2 by placing a square at position 4120 in scene 1. Then I create scene 3 by starting with the empty scene, placing the circle, and then placing the square on top of that. Let's see what happens when we run these. So scene 0 is an empty scene. Here is scene 1, which consists of scene 0 with a circle at x equals 20, y equals 100. Observe that the circle has been cropped to the boundaries of the scene. Here is scene 2 which is just like scene 1 except now that I have now I have painted a solid green square on top of the circle I can construct arbitrarily complicated scenes by painting more and more images on the scene notice however that these scenes are just racket values they are mathematical objects Painting a square on top of scene 1 does not change scene 1. We can check that. There's scene 1, unchanged. And of course, I don't have to give names to each of the intermediate scenes. I could construct my entire scene in one go by starting with the empty scene, placing the circle on it, and then painting the square on it. I can do that in one expression. That is just functional combination. And there you have scene 3, which you can see is the same as scene 2. This is just an example of some of the things you can do with the operations on images in Racket.